Welcome to another week of Lent Reflections. This week we're considering altered perspectives, things that are maybe seen from a different angle from how we imagine, things not what they seem. I'm not very well so I'm having to do these in bed, that's why it looks a bit rough and ready, but please bear with me. <coughs> We're going to be looking at poems this week, and this is The Trees by Philip Larkin. We're going to look at each verse and then a thought on those. The trees are coming into leaf, like something almost being said. The recent buds relax and spread. Their greenness is a kind of grief. Straight away, you think it's going to begin like a spring poem with the wonder of new life and buds bursting into leaf. But the last line introduces grief. And even more amazing, it rhymes with leaf. Why is this a grief, we ask ourselves? Is it that they are born again and we grow old? No, they die too. Their yearly trick of looking new is written down in reams of grain. It may be that the trees are seen to be new, but Larkin reminds us that they are just a part of the world, the aging and dying world, just like we are. Yet still the unresting castles thresh in full-grown thickness every May. Last year is dead, they seem to say. Begin afresh, afresh, afresh. We finish on a note of hope. Even though the trees are dying, each year they find something new to bring to the world. These unresting castles threshing in the winds of May. And yet even so, we can find hope within them because they are beginning afresh. Loving God, in those times when we feel that in the midst of life we are in death, help us to remember that you bring new life in each moment and forever. <clears throat>